Nazir Ahmed Sofi has been weaving Pashmina wool for decades. Srinagar, the largest city in the Indian territory of Jammu and Kashmir, has a fine reputation for producing the soft shawls made from the wool of Pashmina goats. But Nazir says the industry is paying the price for the tensions between India and China. The supply of pashmina wool has declined and the prices have gone up. Earlier a kilogram of pashmina wool was $160, now it's reached $200. We are suffering because of the increase in price. We've been weaving shawls for 40 years and never witnessed such a situation. The weavers of Srinagar get their wool from nomadic goat herders in the Ladakh region near the border between India and China. Herders say the Indian Army stopped them from grazing their goats on pastures near the border this summer. Most of the land for pasturing in the winter is near the border. So if in the coming winter they are stopped from going there, we will incur a lot of loss. Sonam Sedding said thousands of goats could die this winter, which would be a disaster for the more than 1,000 families in Ladakh which depend on them for their livelihood and also for Kashmir's pashmina industry. And if it happens that they are not able to get raw pashmina, and as I said, the only source is Ladakh, it would mean depriving a large section of women who are vulnerable, who take to this economic activity because they are not able to earn from any other activity. Both India and China have been reinforcing their military strength in the mountains and accuse each other of firing warning shots for the first time in 45 years. Their foreign ministers have agreed to disengage militarily, but political analysts say a further escalation is possible given there's no official border between the two countries. Now, okay, one or two gunshots to start with, but all of them have guns. And when it trips over, you never know at what time this happens, how this happens or when this happens. So all in all, it is a very serious situation. One that the people of the region are already paying for. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.